We love using our Blackstone at camp, and we use it for just about every single meal. We decided it's about time that we upgrade from the 17-inch Blackstone to the 22-inch Blackstone just to make it a little bit easier to feed our family of four. So we have the Jfeather Micro trailer by Jayco, and it came with a J port that we can use to mount a Blackstone right on the side of the trailer. The same mount can hold the 17 inch Blackstone or the 22 inch Blackstone. So we were able to upgrade to the larger size and still put it on the same exact spot that we used to put our 17 inch. We decided to upgrade because we wanted to have a little bit more space to cook for a family of four. We use the Blackstone for just about every single meal at camp and the 17 inch has worked well for us, but we have to do a lot more of cooking in rotations and something will be sitting on a plate with foil over it while the rest of the food finishes. So the 22 inch gives us a little bit more space. It's also nice that it has two burners on it, so that gives us a little bit more options when we're cooking up a full meal. It also makes it easier to keep something warm. It plugs in the same way as our 17 inch Blackstone. We use the same adapter and the same cable to hook it into the quick connect in our trailer. The 22 inch Blackstone that we upgraded to did also come with a hood and a rear grease trap instead of the one in the front corner. So it fits on our trailer, looks good. I'm excited to start cooking on it, but before we do that, we have to season it. Blackstone actually has pretty clear directions on how to do this. I'll add a link to that in the video description, but I thought I'd just go through and show what we do to season up the Blackstone. So first you'll need a few items and anytime I use the Blackstone, I always have these items on hand. So first you want to have paper towels and then I always have tongs and two squirt bottles. I fill one of the squirt bottles with water and then the other one with oil. I like using grapeseed oil just because it has a higher smoking point, but it doesn't really matter. You can use any oil you want. And then to season it, you'll need those standard items and then you'll also need some soapy water. Since it's new from the factory, you first have to clean it. So that's what the soapy water is for. We just poured some soapy water on top of it and then just rubbed that around. Now, whenever I'm rubbing water or oil or anything around the Blackstone, my favorite way to do it is just to grab a paper towel and then grab your tongs and use the tongs instead of your hands. So in this case, the griddle isn't even on yet, so it's not hot, but this is just the habit that I'm in, that anytime I'm cleaning off that Blackstone, I'm using the tongs just so my hands have some distance from where it might splatter. So pour some of that soapy water on it, and then use the paper towel with tongs to rub it around. And make sure to get all the flat surface as well as all of the edges. Once it's covered with soapy water, rinse it off. I used the squirt bottle that I had with water in it, and then I just wiped it down with a clean paper towel and tongs. I repeated this a few times until all of the soap was gone. Now you're ready to turn it on. Turn both of the burners on to high heat for about 10 minutes. The griddle will actually start turning brown. At that point, you could turn the grill off and then add some oil. So I just take my oil squirt bottle and then use a paper towel and tongs again just to spread it out in a thin layer. And this is when the tongs are really important because the oil can splatter and that would hurt your hands. Make sure you spread it out in a thin layer and then again, get not only the flat surface, but also the sides and the edges. Once you have a thin layer of oil applied, turn the burners back to high. Then just let it sit until it stops smoking. It should take about 20 to 30 minutes for this to happen. Then you repeat the process. So turn the burners off, add more oil, 
spread it out evenly, turn the burners back to high, and wait for the smoke to stop. Keep repeating this until you're satisfied with the Blackstone seasoning. I repeated the process four times. Honestly, I would have done it a couple more, but I just ran out of time, so I decided to call it good. I tested it out by making bacon burgers with sweet potato fries and a couple of grilled cheeses for the kids. I've made this meal before on our 17 inch Blackstone and although everybody always liked it, it was a complicated meal to make on the 17 inch. I would do the fries first and then I'd cover them with foil and the fries were fine, but they would always get a little bit too soggy from the steam. They weren't always that warm. So I really wanted to try this out on the 22 inch. So this time I was able to cook the fries and the bacon at the same time. And then when the bacon was done, I pulled it off and put the burgers on. So I had more than enough space to cook the fries, to cook the burgers, and I could even toast up the buns with no problem. So not only was this more convenient because everything was done closer to the same time, but the overall cooking time was less because I didn't have to start the fries earlier before I started cooking everything else. And then after I cook, I always just clean the grill up right away. It only takes a couple of minutes to do it that way. All I do is I have those same two squirt bottles that I always have there with water and with oil. And I first just squirt it with water and let the water just steam all of the food up. The water just boils up any food residue and that way it's super easy just to wipe off. So then I just take a paper towel with tongs and just rub it over the grill and just clean up anything left on there. Depending on how messy the grill is, sometimes you have to repeat this a couple times, just squirt on more water, let it boil back up and wipe it down again. Once the grill looks good and it doesn't look like there's any more food residue on it, I squirt a little bit of oil on it, take a paper towel and the tongs and just rub that out so it's a nice thin layer. So that's how I like to clean it up. Now that the Blackstone is all clean, we can go enjoy these burgers. So far, we are loving this upgrade to the 22 inch from the 17 inch. Both Blackstones are great, but the 22 inch does make it much easier to cook the amount of food that we need for a family of four.